The Maldives is a true island nation, known for its beautiful beaches and crystal clear blue waters that reflect the crystal clear blue sky. If everything goes according to plan, the world will see its first floating city in 2027. You want to know more? Stay with us to the end of the video as we look into this breathtaking Maldives floating city. The Maldives may be a honeymooner's dream destination, but the beautiful Maldives archipelago is one of the most vulnerable countries to climate change. Specifically, rising oceans threaten to wash over its tropical islands, which are the lowest lying on Earth. According to NASA and the US Geological Survey, rising sea levels could render nearly 80% of the Maldives uninhabitable by 2050. However, it appears that a new project, the Maldives Floating City, could be the start of a real solution to their concerns about their shrinking land mass. The Maldives Floating City is based on the native customs of this nation's seafarers. Living on the ocean is in keeping with Maldivians' strong connections to the sea and their culture and history. The city is characterized as a boating community that relies on canals as the primary infrastructure for logistics and commerce, limiting land-based mobility to walking and bicycling on unpaved white sand roads. Bicycles and electric noise-free buggies and scooters are the only vehicles that are actually permitted here. The Maldives Floating City, which is only about 10 minutes by boat from the capital Mail and the international airport, is a dynamic, flexible city with a smart grid that can respond to dynamic demand, weather, and climate change. It protects, preserves, and enhances the pristine marine ecosystem by utilizing innovative sustainable development technologies and ecological best practices. This concept is a world first, and it will serve as a model for future developments around the world. The area has a natural structure of roads and water canals that resembles the beautiful and efficient way that real brain coral is organized. The idea behind having a brain coral as the leading concept is that the goal of living with nature and learning to improve the respect the natural coral that is at the heart of the development. This leads to a new knowledge, emphasizing the responsibility Maldives takes as the world center for coral protection. The Maldives Floating City, which will be organized in an efficient manner using real brain coral, the Floating City aims to maintain the harmony between living with nature and respect for the natural habitat by using brain coral as a design framework. As a result, the nation's responsibility for coral protection is emphasized. Coral design consisting of hexagon-shaped segments, play an important role in the city's master plan. This distinctive coral geometry will be linked to the ring of lush barrier islands that will serve as breakers below. This would aid in the structural stabilization from the lagoon waves. Sand beaches within the lagoon will help stabilize and protect the structure. Outside of coral reefs, on the other hand, we will have hotels and restaurants and shops. Although the construction of the city is expected to have little impact on the coral reefs, the Maldives floating city is going to grow artificial coral reefs made of glass foam, which will simulate new reefs and act as water breakers. The architects of water studio and developer Dutch Docklands have conceptualized a next generation sea level rise proof urban development, bringing safety and development space to the Maldives with a mix of green technology, safety, and commercial viability, as well as a healthy new lifestyle that will serve as a backbone of future floating cities. The Maldivians will change their fate from climate refugees to climate innovators as a result of this. It is the first floating city with thousands of houses that has a full governmental backing and is fully based on legal framework and title deeds from the owners. It's also providing a one-of-a-kind opportunity to obtain a residence permit with the purchase of a home, inviting the international community to live here, permanently too, and enjoy the Maldivian lifestyle, combining green values with a sense of place based on centuries of experience living with the sea. And then there's the perfect weather in the tropical setting. It really is a one-of-a-kind city, both above and below the water surface. With blue habitats projecting and stimulating coral growth, artificial coral banks will be attached to the city's underside, stimulating natural coral growth. The lagoon's submerged and protected coral reefs will act as a natural wave breaker, providing residents with comfort and safety in conjunction with the interconnected grid of floating structures. A floating city requires gateways to allow residents and visitors to easily access the city. A cruise ship only has a few entrance points, whereas modern cities have hundreds. A floating city with canals offers numerous access points. The Maldives floating city, which is only 10 minutes by boat from the capital Malé and the international airport, is a dynamic, flexible city with a smart grid that can respond to dynamic demand, weather, and climate change. It protects, preserves, and enhances the pristine marine ecosystem by utilizing innovative sustainable development technologies and ecological best practices. This concept is a world first, and it will serve as a model for future developments around the world. The development known as Maldives Floating City will include a 5,000 low-rise floating homes floating within a 200-hectare lagoon in the Indian Ocean. The city, which will be built on a series of hexagonal-shaped floating structures, 
will rise in tandem with sea levels. With rising sea levels predicted to make the Maldives completely uninhabitable by 2100, the Maldives government hopes to offer up to 20,000 locals and foreigners the opportunity to relocate to the floating city as early as 2024. In terms of housing, the city's homes will be low-rise structures located along palm tree-lined streets. You can get to the amenities on foot or by bike thanks to a network of bridges, canals, and docks. Sand beaches can be found throughout the city, providing relaxation while also stabilizing and protecting key structures within the lagoon. Massive coral reefs will house the floating city's hotels, restaurants, and shops outside of that zone. The development's construction is set to begin later this year. This project is expected to be completed by 2027. Houses, hotels, restaurants, shops, a hospital, a school, and a government building will be supported by the living platforms. According to CNN, residents will be able to move from the completed sections of the island in 2024. The city will be resistant to environmentally friendly floating projects, and developers will also protect the marine ecosystem. According to the press release, artificial banks will be attached to the city's underside, stimulating natural coral growth again. Each seafront residence will be 100 square meters in size, with a jetty attached to the front and roof terrace. According to Dutch Docklands, they'll start at $250,000 and go up from there. While the price isn't ridiculously low, it's perfectly reasonable in the context of an island vacation paradise. It's difficult to imagine these units filling up as people's winter residences, but hopefully some locals will join them. The designers state in a press release promoting MFC that their goal is for local traditional fishing families to live in the floating city. It's unclear whether the $250,000 price point is affordable for these families or whether subsidized housing will be available. The Maldives Floating City is a public-private collaboration between the Dutch Docklands and the island government. The project's founders are architect Cohen Olthuis and developer Paul van de Kamp, and it'll be based on floating technology from the Netherlands, which has a centuries-long tradition of designing flood-resistant architecture. International visitors can also obtain a residence permit with the purchase of a home. The first floating housing block, currently under construction by Bison, will be transported to the lagoon and opened for viewing on August to allow people to get a sense of how these homes will look and feel. The modular city's construction is set to begin in January 2023, and it's going to take approximately five years to complete. Water Studios Design was a finalist for Best Futura Project at the 2022 MIPIM Awards, also known as the Asian Oscars for Global Development. Many factors influence the design and the urban planning aspect, from the projection of sea level rise over a 100-year period to supply and waste management, surplus energy in the smart grid, and the shadows that its large structure would cast on the seabed, potentially harming marine life. If the MFC succeeds, the officials are likely to correct that it will have a global impact. While inland territories have much more time to avoid most of the direct effects of rising sea levels, the Maldives' pure island nations such as Nauru and Micronesia are going to need to act quickly to protect their territories and cultures. The project aims to provide the Maldives with security and development space as a mix of green technology, safety, commercial feasibility, and a healthy new lifestyle that will serve as the foundation for future floating cities. As a result, the Maldivians' fate will be rewritten from that of climate exiles to that of climate innovators. While the buildings float on the water surface, the lagoon's island barriers will act as breakers below the waterline, reducing the impact of lagoon waves while stabilizing the structures and complexes on the surface. And with that being said, we've reached the end of the video. What are your thoughts about the culture of the floating city? Do you see yourself spending time in this wonder in the near future? 